Hey guys, Puppy Kicker here. Uh, we're going to do a real quick video, real quick how-to video. Uh, I acquired something today, done a little swapping. But uh, anyhow, let me uh, let me just get you right to it. Um, it is, well let me spin you around here. train horn system and I've got it set up to where I can move it anywhere I've got a small leak right here on my airline so right now I have it just crimped off with some vice grips that's my arrows but I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of uh, what I've done and, and how I've done this to set this up okay a lot more battery is plenty enough power to power this 12 volt uh, air compressor it's built on board of the air tank um, I bolted the battery down with a strap with a piece of rubber over it so it wouldn't harm the battery. The battery will not move nowhere. Uh, your hot wires, you have one main hot that will go to your air compressor. Then you have another hot that is going to come all the way down here and I have it run along this strand. And I have it to a toggle switch and if you listen. It's a little solenoid right here that's clicking. Okay. After the hot wire comes to the solenoid, you run run the other end up to. I'm sorry. After the hot wire runs to the the toggle switch or push button, whatever you want to do, uh, it'll run up to this wire here. You'll have two wires coming out of your solenoid. One wire will be hot. One wire will be ground. Okay. The other one, the ground that I have, runs over here and connects with a splicer with the ground off of the pump, uh, the air conditioner pump, air compressor pump, I'm sorry. And then it runs up to my ground on my battery. This will pump up to roughly 110, 120 pounds. Um, I'll give you an example of how loud it is real quick um, this is not going to do it any justice because you're not going to be able to tell but uh, here a while back ago uh, me and a buddy of mine and my brother uh, John Mears <laughs> uh, this video is for you buddy we uh, we started joking around about National Horn Honkers of America I just thought of a name it might be a real group I'm not sure but it is now anyhow I've stepped up the game so And there you go, you can see the air pressure is kicked on. And what it'll do, after it gets back up to like 120 or 125 pounds of pressure, it'll kick itself off. It has this little relay right here. That's a pressure relay, and it kills power going to your little compressor motor. But that's how I've got mine built. Uh, anytime I want to charge my battery, I can just hook a set of uh, booster cables up to my uh my truck or something or i just put it on a, a trickle charger but it works just fine for me uh like i said i use these just to keep it crimped off because the gentleman i got this from see there it goes it kicked off uh right here the gentleman i had got this originally from earlier i don't know if he did it or someone else done it but they if you could tell They've kind of put that in there a little crooked. I took it back out and put some pipe, uh, thread tape around it, and it still leaks just a little bit. But anyhow, that is my setup. Um, I've got it on a plywood box that we have built um, out of just plywood and uh, tubefores. Me and my buddy Noah here. Hi. He helped me build all this. Uh, we've done all the wiring, but that's just a simple way of, of how you want to wire it. And then we took, screwed our uh, wires now with some wire clamps so they can't go nowhere. So now I can take this and put it in any vehicle that I want to and scare the crap out of people. So with that being said, look forward to some pretty good prank videos that I might make a few people mad. Might even make cops mad. I don't know. God bless you. Don't buy it. Build it if you can. Coming straight up at the woods where I love to stay. It's
Push that country white boy that you love to hate. Pushing them four wheel drives, cause we love some mud. And when we party, we ain't stopping till the sun come up.